today we're doing a mock test with uh, Maria. Maria's from Chile. Ch Chile, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, tell them how long you've been driving, Maria. Like uh, 15 years. She's been driving 15 years, so she's very experienced, but not used to driving on this side of the road. You will arrive at your destination at 1.35 p.m. You drive on the other side of the road on your Yes. Day, you? Right. We're going to be out for th we're going to get straight in right because we'll push our time here. We're going to be out for 38 to 40 minutes. Oh, we can get wrong here. Um, we're going to take in various traffic and road conditions. One minute we pass with your trainer. Mm -hmm. Possibly the control stop, and you will be driving in the pen by way of Saturn other signs. Okay. Okay. So we're going to be following Saturn after the Throughout the drive, I'd like to follow the road ahead at all times, unless you're directed by signs and markings. Or I'll ask you to turn, which I will do some good time. So if you just turn right out of here. Okay. And I'd like you to reverse into that bay for us on the left hand side. I've got one question for you before we start. Yes. How would you check your powered steering's working? Oh, I, Before starting the journey. Yes, I first uh, uh, turn the, um, the car on and the steering uh, has to become lighter and with no resistance. Good. Resistance. Mm -hmm. No resistance. Right, go on then. Um, okay, so do I park in the middle one? The second one from the end. Oh, yeah. the second go one, on okay. Then. Okay. We'll come back. Minor fault number one, Maria goes down is control. You have to shunt it forwards and then backwards. Observations very, very impressive. I like the way you keep looking all around the car, especially taking direct observation through the back window. Uh, speed was good also. The accuracy is lovely in parallel, but it is out about four or five inches, but it's a pass, so well done. Maria has only had four and a half hours with me and she's used to driving the car from the left hand side and not the right hand side so it must be quite difficult for Maria if you just like to um, turn left out here just see where this line goes first of all so, okay now go to the left yes we're going to go to the left but just wait let's see what this line is doing sometimes okay. yeah right if you just turn left out of here okay now concentrate At the end of the road we're turning left and then the side at the end of the road right. turn okay. left Whitfield Court then at the end of the road turn right
turn right, St. John's Road. Show me how you'd clean the bag when you use the washers and wipers. Yes. Minor fault number two, Maria, you need to look over your right shoulder, which you're forgetting about. Had there been something there, like a cyclist, a motorbike, or another car, or a pedestrian crossing the road, then you could have, you would have been looking at a serious fault. Maria does well at this junction. She's been sitting here a good few minutes, um, so she applies a parking brake and selects neutral, and then she takes the first available gap. So well done, Maria. Maria, when you pulled out of this junction, you should have, you put your gas on as you start to emerge into the junction. You took your foot back off the gas, and the car slowed down. You should be applying that gas and keeping it on as you pull out of the junction. You pull up the convenient place on the left. Yes. First serious fall for Maria. Oh. Maria, what happens is you, you should have just pulled in just past this bus stop, a couple of car lengths past it, or about two and a half car lengths before this junction on the left hand side down here the entrance to the garages but what you do is you block the entrance to the garages you also mount the curb um, so it goes down to your first series fault position normal stops Third minor fault, Maria, you've got to look over that blind spot. You've missed it again. Now, one more of them, and you're going to record a serious fault. It's the part that you can't see in the mirror, so you need to look over your shoulder and check that pavement. Thank you. 
After 200 yards, turn left, A167, Newcastle Road. Minor fault number four, Maria goes down to drive position, normal drive position. What you do is, you, if you look at the picture there, you've got an arrow telling you to keep left, but you move over the right, but you've explained to me that you thought you weren't allowed to drive in bus stops. Learners do get confuzzled with this. Um, bus stops and bus lanes are two separate scenarios. So you can't drive through bus stops, but you can't drive through bus lanes unless signs tell you otherwise. Good speed on approach, excellent gear at the right time, excellent spots the car at the very last second, does the roll in first, rise and brake, and just goes without stopping. Well done, Maria. All good driving skills. well to spot all the exits on this roundabout most learner drives would miss the exit and go the wrong way but maria reads the road really well Serious fault number two for Maria. Oh. Maria, when the lights change to green, you must drive your car into the middle of the junction as long as your exit road is clear. What you do is you just sit on the green light and the traffic behind starts a little get, gets a bit agitated. That's why I'm telling you to drive into the middle. So when the lights change to green, Maria, drive your car into the middle. As long as your exit road is clear, if you see a gap in the traffic, drive your car out of the junction. If the backup light changes to red, drive your car out of the junction. If a green fill arrow comes on, drive your car out of the junction. Turn left, car house drive. 
drive, then take the second left. Really close to that white van, but leave enough room to move off yes. about the car. Then don't worry about the junctions and driveways on this occasion. A bit further forward, that'll do. I think. Mm -hmm. And drive on when you're in. Okay. Serious fault number three for Maria. Serious fault number three, Marie. It's not looking over your shoulder again. It's a habitual fault where you keep repeating the same fault. The exam just records it as a serious driving fault. So you know and I know that you've got to look over your shoulder before you move off from the side of the road. Good at this roundabout, Marie. Everybody classes this as straight ahead, but you realise it's right. Your mirrors and signal on approach is good, and also when leaving. Well done. Turn left at the road, then cross the roundabout and take the second exit. This roundabout's also quite good, Maria. Um, I don't know what you're doing with the indicators. When you're going straight ahead, second exit, you don't signal on approach. It's a bit fluffy with the indicators. I don't mark it. Good position throughout the roundabout. Well done. Do I keep going? I'll direct you back from here. Okay, I'll direct you back. Okay. So that's the end of the independent drive. Okay. I'll direct you back. The rest will be the Okay. Turn right. Third exit. Uh -huh. Minor fault number five, Marie. Goes down as signals necessary. You, you should signal right at this mini roundabout to tell other road users where you're going, but it's just a minor fault. Minor fault number six, Marie. It goes down to driving at appropriate speed. You know this speed limit is a national, which is 60 miles per hour, but it takes you far too long to get up to about 47, 48 miles per hour. So you should be making more use of the gears and building your speed up. Minor fault number seven, Maria. I ask you to follow the road ahead. It's the third exit. You can see the road marking straight in front of you that it says if you're going straight ahead third exit, you can use either the left lane or the right lane. Now, you pick the right lane. You should be using the left lane when you've got the choice of lanes to reach your destination.
serious fault number four for you, Maria. <laughs> Maria, I probably wouldn't have took this gap, but you, you pull out and slow the car down now. Had you did go out and put your foot on and got away from the car, then you wouldn't have recorded a serious fault. But what you do is you merge onto the roundabout and then you come off the gas again and you pull out really slow onto the roundabout, causing this driver to your right to slow down. So you're not allowed to do that, Maria. Remember the four S's when pulling out of junctions or emerging from junctions. If you cause any other driver to stop, slow down, swerve or swear, then you are toast on that driving test. Minor fault number eight, Marie. I'm not sure what you're doing here, but you're in third gear. You've selected third, which is excellent because you're doing 28, 29 miles an hour. Then, for some strange reason, you put it back to second gear and bring the clutch up. Now, you're in the wrong gear for the speed of the car. So, it's more pollution, more wear and tear on the engine. So, minor fault number eight goes down as a gear fault. Dear me, minor fault number nine. Now, when you're approaching the roundabout, you're, you're, you're in second gear. Now, you look to the right, Maria, I wouldn't even have put the clutch down. I would have just drove straight onto the roundabout. However, you decide to put it into first gear and then put it into fourth gear and then the car cuts out. But luckily for you, this car starts itself and you keep the car moving. So it's only a minor fault. Drive it forward into a bay of your choice. Sorry? Drive the car forward into a bay of your choice. Okay, uh, by. Just drive it forward into a bay. Okay. Any of them? Anyone you want, not really. Worried. Okay. It's all right, it's not part of the test. Oh, okay. Right. It's all right, it's not part of, <laughs> it's not part of the test. How do you think you've yes. done? Oh, I don't know. I know that I made many mistakes with the roundabouts. Uh, like before, uh, well, I, sometimes I didn't signal. And one, <laughs> the first time I'm... 
place it in the, on the other side in the beginning. Like. Right, you've got four serious folds. Okay. So the first one is um, when he has to pull up on the left, you actually block the entrance to a garage. Yes. Can you remember? Yes, yeah, totally. So there I should have waited until... There, you should, the, 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 um, if you imagine that as the garage. Yes. Yeah, oh shoot. So you, you had the garage there. I think. Yeah, I was recording okay. there, so I must have turned it off. No, no, but <coughs> I remember because I... Good. Right, well this roundabout yes. here, I ask you to follow the road ahead. It's the third exit. Now, if you have the choice of lanes to go straight ahead, which lane should you pick? If I'm coming from here? No, you're coming from there. Okay. And you're going you want... straight ahead, third exit. The, the right. <coughs> the left. Why would you want to pick the right for? Oh, it's just the right to go there? Yes. Oh. So, we could go... <clears throat> When you're going straight ahead at uh -huh. a roundabout, if the road mark can see you can use either lane, which one's the best one to use? Left. Good. Always. Now, but okay. what you've done is you went in the right lane. Yes. You pulled out in front of a car, which, to be fair, I probably wouldn't have gone, but I wasn't going to mark it because I don't think it would have slowed them down. But then what happened is you come off the gas pedal, the car slowed right down, and you slowed the car down, come round the roundabout. Yes, yes, I realised that, that you have that car. So when you pull off, you should just put that gas on and went. Okay. Okay? So just in case I missed that on video, there's other serious fault for not checking your blind spots and what was it, the traffic lights, you've got to drive the car into the middle. Yes. Right? Um, and don't block the entrances to garages. <laughs> yes. Have you any questions before I turn that off? Uh, yes, about the roundabout, that about, one again. Yes. <clears throat> okay, so I can can I just check again. So if I have to go straight, yes, I just take the left. Yeah, keep it Okay, simple. even though it's not the third, it's, it's still the third. Okay. If I said turn right at the roundabout third exit, mm, which Liam would right. expect you to pick, but I said then, follow the road ahead. Oh, okay. So you should use the left lane. Yes. You got that? Yes. No, I... Right. So I regroup. Yeah, we're gonna. Um, <laughs> we've got half an hour left. I'm gonna put them full train. Okay. Go on and off you go. We'll get them fixed. Sorry. We'll get them fixed. Okay. Uh, Sorry, car. <clears throat> Did I go? Yeah, yeah. Fuck it out. It's on, right? Well, Liz, I thought you were retiring. Yeah? Well, you were, 20 I've seen the price of them. Shocking, aren't they? I've got 72 for this one. Did you? What? Mine's on yours now. 136. What? 136. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Mine's an 85. I've got 72 for it, and the other one, that's 66 plate. Uh -huh. It's got 50 on, and I've got 82 for that. It's yeah. 86, 86. So I got more for all the car because of the m